Hello, everyone. Today we're drawing this cute Santa bunny wearing a long Santa hat. Who knows where it's hanging out? You're going to have to imagine where it is. So in that background, maybe he's in the North Pole. This one you could do with your paper portrait or landscape. I'm going to do mine landscape just because it fits better on the camera. You can see the whole edges and exactly where I'm placing everything. When I turn it portrait, it's hard to see the top and the bottom because the camera would have to be so far away that you can't see all the details as well. So I'm going to do it this way, but you could do yours the other way. We're going to start with the jowls or the cheeks of our little bunny there. And it looks like a really round W or a sideways number three. So you could even turn your paper sideways and just draw a number three, and you'll have drawn the face of a bunny. I did my three a little sideways, but that's okay. Straighten this part out just a little bit. There we go. Then we're going to add the cute little nose and face in there. So we're going to start with a little letter V just above the top edge of your number three there. Do a line straight down. So you're almost at the bottom with just a little space left. And then a curvy smile to the right and to the left. We're gonna do the eyes next. I did almond shaped eyes. So I did a curve that's kind of at an angle. And then another little rainbow at an angle, the opposite direction to create that almond shaped eye. And then I put a circle in the middle. If it's hard for you to draw that shape, another option is to start with your circle and then curve from there to a point and do the same on the bottom to create that almond eye. These will be colored in. I know it looks a little silly right now while they're white. I'm gonna shade them in so it doesn't look like an evil bunny. Next, we're gonna add the brim of the hat and I wanted it to be soft and fluffy like, but we don't, it's hard to draw that shape without having some template first. So start by doing a curved line above your bunny's head. Add a little line up and draw these lines lightly because we're not going to keep them. We're going to erase these. And then another curve over the top. Now, that's the shape I want for my bunny's brim, but I want it to be soft and fluffy. So I'm going to go around that with tiny little rainbows that are all touching to create that soft, fuzzy look. And then we'll just erase the box that's underneath. But if we try to do this shape with the scallops or these rounded rainbows without the box, a lot of times we'll end up with a very wonky shape that looks silly and doesn't work out. So I like to give myself a little guideline. And then I just lightly erase it. I don't worry about it being all erased because I can do that after I outline the scallops or those rainbow shapes at the end. Just enough so that it's out of the way and I don't accidentally go over it with my marker. All right, next we're gonna add our hat. Depending on which direction you went, you can do your hat going straight up or you can have it kind of curved downward like I'm gonna do this time. So I'm just gonna go up and around with a curvy line. Then from the other side, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna curve over making it get closer and closer until it gets skinny at the end. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Let's make that line go a little higher. I'm gonna make it go more up and then curve and get skinnier towards the end. We're gonna add a little pom-pom onto the end of our hat. And I did it the same way I did the brim of my hat with those rainbows all touching, but in a circle shape. So it looks nice and fluffy. Next, we're gonna add our bunny's ears. And I purposely made kind of wavy lines to make their ears look 
like they're folded and twisted up because a lot of bunnies do have really thin ears and they kind of flop on top of each other. So I just go down and then angle back up. And if you get two different ears that are maybe a little bit different thicknesses, that's okay. Just adjust one of them. I'm going to make this one a little wider because that one was wider. There we go. Now that one's bigger, but that's okay. It's not too much. It's just maybe this one is flipped back a little bit. Next, we're going to add the base of the front legs. So about two fingers below that W that we started with, we're going to add a little letter Y. Well, it's a capital letter Y, but we're going to make it small. Leaving a little bit of room at the bottom of your paper for the feet. So don't go all the way down. And we're going to add those front paws. I'm going to do a rainbow on each side of our bunny's front leg line there and do a couple of upside down rainbows or smiley faces the right way to connect those clothes for his paws or her paws. And on either side of that, we'll do a curve line up that goes a tiny smidge higher than our letter Y. So we go up a little wider, a little taller there, and it goes a little bit wider as it goes up. Instead of going straight up, we're going to curve at an angle so it goes a little bit out to make go from the skinny legs up to the chest area of the bunny. And then we want to add our back paws in there. And because those are behind her, they're going to sit a little farther back in our picture. Do a little rainbow shape to each side about halfway up your letter Y. And do your rainbow shapes or smiley faces underneath to finish those paws. And then we're just going to do a curve line up, connecting it to the ears to create the rest of the body's bunny. The body's bunny. The rest of the bunny's body. I blame German for that. My grandfather always spoke backwards like that. And it's something to do with how you speak in German versus in English. All right. On top of these little paws, and each of those spots where the little um, rainbows touch, we're going to add tiny little letter Y's on top of that to create the separation between the bunny's toes and their fur. The last step is just to decorate your bunny or the background. So. On my original slide, I colored everything first after I outlined it in a black marker. And then I used a white gel pen to add those spirals on top of the hat. This time I want to do stripes. So I'm going to do it beforehand. And just add some stripes going through. And think about where you want your bunny to be in the picture. You could add some details to show where it's hanging out or maybe even a sign. I'm gonna do some stripes. I'm gonna add just a wavy ground underneath because I imagine it's snowy because my bunny is gonna be in the North Pole. So I'm gonna draw a big rectangular sign back here. That's gonna say North Pole. I'm going to add a little sign. It doesn't look centered, does it? A little post for it to be on. And I want the sign to look a little fancier, so I'm going to actually go around it one more time. Kind of create a frame. Just 
You could even add some decorations on there, but I'm going to do that when I color it, I think. And that's my bunny in the North Pole. I can't wait to see how yours turns out. Don't forget to post your finished project either in our student forum on Facebook, Studio CIA Student Projects, or on our website in our community forum, linked below. Be sure to come back for another drawing soon. Bye everyone.